Guys, it's here. It's actually here. Oh my gosh, it is here. Gathering freaking storm is out. What's up, everybody? Brian with you from the Game Common. And holy crap, that is an awesome looking title screen. All right, so I was not anticipating them doing a midnight release. Uh, I was actually on my way to bed, and on Discord, people are like, hey, dude, the game came out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so we are playing the game. And man, that looks cool. That is an awesome cutscene. Where's my music? Where's my music? Where's my mu- oh, is my audio turned off? There we go, there we go. We had it turned down apparently the last time we played the game. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, this is so awesome. And they got the Hall of Fame, yes. Now apparently from what I've heard to get the history and stuff with the Hall of Fame, you have to like install, uh, like load your previous loads and then all of a sudden it'll start working and you can get all the achievements and stuff like that. So at some point we'll go through and get all of our content there because um, for the most part, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, everything should be disabled at this point. Um, well, yeah, let's just disable all community-created content because none of it's going to work because literally this just came out, oh, uh, like 20 minutes ago? Uh, about 50 minutes ago. It's almost 1 a.m. So, yeah, we're playing Gathering Storm. So, if you have not been keeping up with Gathering Storm, it is the newest DLC for Civilization VI and might be one of the most anticipated DLCs I've ever had for a game. Uh, the main catch with it is natural disasters, and you can kind of see what's going on here uh, with the kind of background movie that's taking place, like um, uh, global warming's a thing. If you use too much pollution, you can uh, melt the ice caps, which flood lands you can have volcanoes that erupt there are rivers that are overflow there's a bunch of different things you can do so uh we basically decided we're going to do two different series uh with gathering storm uh the first one is this one right here and then our second one's going to come out later today and we're basically going to do polar opposite series so for the first one what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and create a game and i haven't looked at any of this stuff yet because this is all brand new but there's supposed to be there's supposed to be, ah yeah, disaster intensity. So this is the new level, so you can set the natural disaster intensity, choose from a setting of zero, less frequent, less intense natural disasters to four, frequent and intense natural disasters. Note that on setting three or four, severe volcano eruptions may damage two tiles of hexes away. All right, well we're going four. Not only are we going to go uh, super crazy with the natural disasters, we entitled this series, Let's Make the World Burn. So we're going to be playing as, oh my gosh, the pictures. Like, these look like mods because I'm just not used to seeing them. Are they all right up here? They put them all up top? Oh, that's kind of nice. So you don't have to scroll through now. Eh, all right, so we're gonna be playing as Ottomans. Uh, the reason I want to play Ottomans is because we're gonna go with a little bit more of a domination heavy play. We are gonna say screw you green energy. We don't care about any of that. We're gonna burn all the coal. We're gonna burn all the oil. We're gonna drop nukes when the game gets uh, to that point. We're gonna do everything in our power to absolutely wreck this planet. We are gonna hope that like, I don't know if it's possible, but my goal is to melt every single ice cap and basically just flood everything. It's gonna be great it's gonna be a good time we're gonna play on deity who knows if we can even handle this on deity i have no idea if, if this is any more dangerous easier strong like i have no idea we didn't get a, uh, we didn't get to play any of the pre-release stuff so this is our first look at all of it so i think let's go shuffle because it's my favorite map type and i think we're just gonna leave everything on normal i think we're just gonna go strict straight up map we could play with a few more city states. We should probably guarantee some of our new civs in here. And I'm not going to talk about everyone like uh, in this episode. What we're going to be doing is tomorrow we're going to be live streaming. Well, actually, it'll be the day that this video comes out. We're going to be live streaming. And I'm going to be going through every little detail of all the new changes and stuff like that. So definitely check that out if you want um, to see all the new heroes and all that stuff. All the new heroes, all the new leaders. So do we have enough? We need one extra player. Screw it. It's gonna make the game even harder. I don't care. We're Ottomans. Let's do this. Uh, go away, Radium. I don't care. So, I think we're good to go. There's our map seed if you want to play along. This is gonna be ridiculous, guys. This We might just get our butt kicked right away because of this on Deity. But we'll see. And we're on a shuffle map, so this could be anything. Ah, uh, and guess what? We don't have Sean Bean muted. And I don't have to mute him because hopefully this is a brand new intro. I mean, if nothing else, I guess the city uh, or, or the Ottoman the intro is new. Now, this is still the same. Water. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We'll talk probably about every sieve as we meet them. So, be prepared for that. 
Now begins your greatest quest. And from this I'm trying to think how else we're going to talk about things, but okay, let's shut up and let's listen to him talk about Solomon. All praise to you, Soyaman the Lord. Soyaman, rightly called magnificent, master of the sublime House of Osman. Your loyal servants stand ready to carry your commands to the farthest corner of your mighty land, Boom. while your foes tremble at the sight of your armies. Sultan of Sultans, yeah. Khan of Khans, <laughs> yeah. lead your people Let's to go, grace. let's go, let's go. So I thought it was Solomon. Solomon, Solomon. Is that like the English pronunciation, how he pronounced it? Oh, welcome to Civ 6 Gathering Storm. This guide will introduce you to new features in the expansion. Additional information can be found in the Civilpedia and Advisor Tips. All right, World Congress is where you can make your voice heard amongst the other nations and other civilizations in the world. Also an important part of the new diplomatic victory. Proposals are sent before World Congress for vote and come in two types. So essentially, this will happen at, I forgot exactly when in the game it triggers, Medieval Age or something like that. Every 30 turns, there is then a uh, Congress, and you can now win diplomatic victories through that, basically. Um, um, diplomatic favor is a new form of currency. Yep, 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 yep. Gather diploma, uh, diplomatic victory points to pursue the new diplomatic victory. Okay, I think you need 10. Apparently, from what I read in an IGN review, so, you know, trust it as you will, apparently diplomatic victory is actually a lot harder to get to than uh, some of the other ones. So we'll have to see on that. My plan is with our other series, we're actually going to go for a diplomatic victory. This one, I think we're probably going to do domination to start with, and we'll probably pivot to a science because domination gets ridiculously slow. But we'll see. Uh, previous warmongering system has been replaced, and we're going to test the crap out of that now. So it's now called Grievances. So I'm also leaving this up. You can read it and pause if you so want. In Civilization VI, the environmental around you is more alive than ever. Natural disasters like floods, storms, volcanoes can pillage, destroy your improvements. But they may refresh and enrich the lands after they pass. Ooh. And then volcanoes are high risk, but high reward. Sediment locations. I did bump up to deity, right? I think I did. I think I did. Uh, geothermal fissures are new features. They give you amenities and tourism. Cool. I don't know if I care. Strategic resources have been divided two types. Oh, yeah, there's now power, but we'll talk about it as we get later. And then your choices will affect the climate. Okay, there's more to explore. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. How will I roll? Probably very terribly. I'll leave that on for the live stream tomorrow. Did we go to uh, Deity? Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we're on Deity. All right, we got to get used to not having CQU to I now. No! Worst thing ever, 0 of 10. Oh, I have to hit Y for yield icons. So we had a mod that basically forced them on. It was the greatest thing ever. Now I'm sad that we don't have that mod anymore. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's first check out the research tree. They added some new units. Let's see what we can spot real quick. And I said I wasn't going to do this, and here I am doing this. So, okay, we got the skirmisher. This is the new replacement for the, uh, it's an upgraded uh, version of the scout. And uh, the best part, look there. Range strength. Boom. Awesome. Freaking awesome, dude. And then, oh yeah, the Corsair. This is our new replacement, our upgrade for horses. So before, horsemen's, uh, didn't, horsemen, horses didn't upgrade until, horsemen, right? No, horses. Horsemen? Horses? Oh my gosh. What? Horsemen, yeah. Horsemen didn't upgrade until you had cavalry. Now you can upgrade them with uh, Corsairs, which is quite nice. Let's see. They probably moved some of the stuff around, too. Um, I don't know how much of that we're going to really notice till later. Uh, this is our... Uh, is this our own specific one? Corsair? Uh, Ottomans. What is our special unit? No, that is not our special unit. Okay. Sweet. So what is this guy then? Heavy Cavalry. So this is a, a Renaissance era knight. That is actually really, really needed. I didn't know we needed this as much as... Uh, now that I see it, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, there's a Janissary. Okay, because before you would have knight, and then pike and shoots would or pike and shots would rather just destroy them until you could get tanks. And tanks were always kind of hard to get. So I never heard anything about that. That's actually good. I'm glad that they have that. Um, right there, guys. It's here. Canals. Finally. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. Convert to coal power. Okay, yeah, that's a new uh, a city project you can do. So you can convert your city. You can burn coal. You can burn oil uh, to get power. Or you could go green energy, but screw that. Also, railroad is new as well. Does this happen automatically? Do we have to upgrade? Can only be constructed by military engineer. Does not cost a charge. Oh, I'm going to have to build encampments, dude. That sucks. That sucks. Where are my other new units? Ooh, mountain tunnel. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Recommission, convert to nuclear power. All right. Nuclear power is more um, um, not what we're going to be doing because we want to burn the world. Uh, solar farm. Oh, that's cool. Wind farm. Nice. Launch Mars colony. Okay, giant death robot. Ha ha. And then you'll notice that they added a whole nother era. But what they did with the new era is they kind of did something similar to Stellaris where it's all randomized. So you have no idea what order everything's going to go now. Like this might give us, well, X tech. I don't really know any of the techs. Or that might give us a different tech. So it's, it's kind of cool about that. Like how it's uh, just all random now. All right, let's go over here to civics then. Let's see what's over here. Um, everything looks pretty much the same. Is this still flanking? Yep, still flanking there. Uh, we're also going to have to keep a close eye on the boost. I don't know how much they tweaked any of our boosts, but we'll keep an eye on. Uh, there is our special unique unit, right? Yeah. That's really early, actually. Medieval fairs. Hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good, because we're probably not going to go too much culture. Uh, I still don't see too much new here. This all looks almost identical at this point. Okay, what's that? Ski Resort. Hell yeah, dude. So Ski Resort now is provides tourism equal to the tile appeal, So and it can only be built on a mountain. So essentially, this is seaside resorts on steroids. Well, I mean, I guess it makes a little more sense because seaside resorts were always way at the end of science, and that doesn't really make sense because you might not have enough science for seaside resorts. Where'd they go? So it makes a little more sense now that you actually have a option to get more tourism uh, through the culture tree, civic tree. Uh, also, too, rock bands. Hell yeah. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Uh, I'm excited for that. We're going to be going culture with our other playthrough, just FYI, too. So we will be getting all that. Near future governance. Oh, these are our new governments. <gasps> okay, and then all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. First up, let's look at great people. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad. I kind of like the CQUI a little better, but I can live with that. This needs to be a little longer, though, like... Like, I want to see more than, like, just that. That's a little plain, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll live with it. World climate. I don't want to get there yet. Governor titles. We got our Ibrahim. Yes. So, uh, this is special for Ottomans. We'll talk about him in a little bit as well. What were we looking for? We were looking for... Oh, the new governments. We can't do governments yet because we don't have a government. All right. I guess we have to go this way. So, corporate liberalism. Uh, libertarian... Li libertarianism. My gosh. Okay, it's 1 a.m., so calm down. I'm going to pronounce everything wrong because my brain is fried at this point. But major bonus, commercial hubs and encampments provide cities with 10% production and accumulating resources with improvements provide plus one per turn. Okay, so uh, that's the other thing. They switched uh, how... Um, 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 uh, luxury res not so much luxury resources, strategic resources work now. So instead of just having an iron that you have rest of the game and you can always build units with iron, you now accumulate iron every single turn. So I think that's what it's talking about. You basically get to, again, uh, extra one per turn. You get a minor bonus, negative 10 science. Okay, that is a wonderful bonus. <laughs> <laughs> and then you gain nine influence points per turn at 250 you get four envoys and you get favor every turn so this seems like if you're going for diplomatic now the nice thing is so late tier units require uh, upkeep early tier units won't require any upkeep so we won't have to use iron for upkeep but we might have to use nuclear power to you know power our death robot and i'm i'm, I'm throwing that out hypothetically i actually don't know if that works that way so getting an extra one per turn that would be one per nuclear mine that actually might be good because it's going to allow you to support more units so digital democracy major bonus plus two amenities in all cities plus two culture per specialty district minor bonus negative three combat strength for all units and then we gain non influence points and then we gave favor generation as well oh all right so they all have that so they all have a minor bonus which is negative okay so this one is you don't want to go fight people okay and then synthetic tech uh technocracy uh, plus three power in all city and 30% production to all city projects. Oh my gosh, that's going to be amazing for shooting off rockets. By the way, how do we win rocket victory? Is it still the same? we got to look at that here. Minor bonus, negative 10% tourism. Ah, that's kind of cool. So you're less likely than to be punished by an AI going for a science victory if they have that one. That's kind of nice. Uh, we want to see these because I thought they did minor bonuses here. Yeah, they did. So your trade routes give plus four food, plus four production. They changed democracy. Minor bonus, 25% dis uh, discount on purchases with gold. Okay. Is communism still production? Yeah, per citizen. And you gain a little extra science as well. See, 
I feel like the discount on purchases with gold should be communism, and I feel like the science should be democracy, right? Because communism would be more like a Russia, you know, or a, like, uh, a, a militaristic society. And so they're going to want to have a larger military. All right, whatever. And then fascism, you get combat strength. This looks the same, and you get more production towards units. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that's all of that. This is our new weather uh, uh, level. So you can see polar ice caps are at 0% loss. Sea levels are at 0%. We're going we're gonna to crap this up, yeah. And then you got event history. I think this only pops up stuff you see, though. Don't quote me on that. And we'll see CO2. We can see who's screwing up the, um, who's screwing up the world. It's going to be us, mostly. So we probably shouldn't settle on the coast since we're going to flood the coast but i think cliss might protect you i actually don't know that for a fact i should have watched some more pre-game stuff and then we're going to talk about almonds here in a little bit let's look here Ooh, okay okay that's cool that's cool so science victory launch a satellite land a human on the moon establish a martian colony and you have to do one more launch an exoplanet expedition okay so it's basically the same you just have to do one more thing culture Looks like it's exactly the same. Domination looks the same. Conquer the original capital. Okay. Religion looks the same. And then diplomacy is you need 10 diplom uh, diplomacy points. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And apparently, from what I heard, there are diplomacy points in both the tech tree and in the... And in the civic tree. But they're probably through here. Um, also, too, with the World Congress, you get them to vote for you kind of thing as well. Air progress, that looks all the same. List of reports, that is nice. That is nice. Okay, I can dig that. And then, is this our global resources? Nice, you're not aware of civilization super zest. So you can actually see who has, you know, so when you spawn in a game and have zero iron, you know, not like I would know what that looks like. You can actually find out who has iron. <laughs> nice, we discovered a new continent. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, well, let's go do some exploring. I think what we're gonna wanna do is actually settle here on the Plains Hill, uh, cause this is gonna be a two two. This will stay as a one one. Uh, I want to be on the coast. Yeah, I think we'll stay here. I think we'll stay here. I might... I mean, we do have a river potential over here. I just don't want to wait that many turns to get over there. Also, I have no idea how much uh, territory I have versus um, everyone else. I will say, I don't know how successful this first game is going to be. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so we got a volcano right here. Nice. And you can see now rivers and volcanoes get auto-named. So based on whoever's the first civilization that meets them, it kind of names it after them. So we got the Agri Dagi. <laughs> uh, don't quote me on that one. And I think, yeah, I think we roll here. Let's go. We got uh, at least a hill here as well. So that's not going to be the worst one. We'll be able to work that. I kind of want to get one of the two twos going as quick as possible, though. Um, what are you working right now? Oh, God, we don't have CQUI, guys. All right, that's going to be fun. Um, I kind of want to work the two one just so we can grow quicker. What is it? Uh, 14 turns. That's not right. Seven turns. Where then the one two was what? 14 turns. We'll start with the scout. Just because I want to try out the new scout. And I think we will go aggressive early on. So that means animal husbandry into archery, just so we can protect our butt, and we're probably gonna spam out a bunch of units. So normally at this point, I would actually, uh, especially if we're going super aggressive, I would spam out a slinger second. I just, I feel like this is a better option. Okay, where is my build queue? Where's my build queue? Ah, uh, it's here guys. We can queue things up, yeah. Uh, that's nice. But yeah, we'll go ahead and queue it up, might as well. I might as freaking well. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get going, let's get through some turns, let's find some people. Uh, we should talk about the Ottomans. <laughs> okay, Ottomans. So, what is our unique ability? We get 50% production towards siege units, which is stupid good. All siege units give plus 5 combat strength, which is stupid good. Um, against district defenses, at least. Uh, conquered cities do not lose population, which is stupid good. Uh, and then cities uh, now founded by the Ottomans gain plus 1 to many and plus 4 loyalty per turn, which is... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be honest, I think the Ottomans might be the most OP civ in the game. At just my opinion. All right, he also gives the exclusive unique governor with military and diplomatic abilities, and we gain Janissary unique unit when gunpowder is researched. Okay, so we get the Janissary plus then also the ship. 
because we need two unique units as well. The Barbary, uh, it's a unique medieval uh, era unit. It replaced the Privateer, costs no movement to Coastal Raid, which is nice so you can Coastal Raid and shoot. Or, I think you have to have movement left though, so you'd have to do it that way. Can only be seen by other naval raiders, reveal naval raiders within range, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the Grand Bazaar, building unique for the Ottomans, you accumulate one extra strategic resources for every different type of strategic resource in the city. Receive one amenity for every luxury resource that's improved, and that's in the um, commercial hub. Okay, so now our unique governor is where we go way over the top with just absolute ridiculousness. So, uh, Pasha, 20% production to all military units in the city. Number two, Head Falconeer. All friendly units fighting within the build, uh, territory get plus five combat strength. Awesome. Then we grant all units within 10 tiles of the city center plus 10 combat strength when attacking defensible districts. Plus 10. That means our warriors right now are almost equivalent to swordsmen attacking city centers. Oof. And then when established in an allied foreign capital, your alliance points with the owner increases an extra five points. So basically, this is kind of like a diplomatic thing. We can also establish in a foreign capital and then grievances from them are reduced one more per turn. And then here's the big one. When established in a foreign capital, none of the owner cities exert loyal pressure on your cities. So essentially, if, for example, we spawn next to Hungary, I conquered his capital, I put that guy in the capital, we would face no pressure from the rest of Hungary. Like, none of their cities. That is stupid good. That is awesome. So we want to put the city probably two tiles away. Probably put it over here somewhere. Just be a little safer. Uh, Alright, yeah, we'll... Eh, eh, we'll go get you. We'll go get you. We'll go here first. Okay, let's advance, and like I said, we'll talk about people as we meet them. We'll talk about the changes and stuff like that. I think there's going to be a lot more mountains as well in the game, now that we have mountain tunnels and all that kind of fun stuff, so give me something good. Craftsmanship. Eh, I suppose. Sure. I suppose. Okay, oh, we got a hurricane. Oh my god, we have our first storm. All right, well, we got a hurricane. Does it show up? Yes, Category 4 Hurricane Earth Girl. <laughs> oh no. So this would pillage and damage any district. It would pillage any improvements that are on the tiles. It would also damage any units within range. Luckily, we really have nothing for it to do. I mean, I suppose it could hurt our city center, but I think we'll be okay. Ah, ah, Dude, that sounds cool. Dude, I like that language. Hello, Hungary. So, um, of all the people we wanted to meet first, Hungary was not really the one I wanted. Oh, God. Run. <laughs> Run from the hurricane. Okay, it dis dis uh, dispersed. Hello, Hungary. Let's send a delegation. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Hungary, then. Hungary, I think, is the second most OP civ in, uh, at least in uh, Gathering Storm. So, 50% production to districts and buildings constructed across the river, river city center. Uh, from a city center across a river. Uh, Matthias, he can levy units uh, and give them an ability... Uh, oh, giving them plus two movement and plus five combat strength. It costs no gold or resources to upgrade them. If you levy troops from a city state, you get uh, two envoys with that city state, and you gain the black army unique unit win castles. So this is ridiculous. Most people don't actually levy troops because it, you know, it tends to be a little bit expensive. But the fact is, you could find... You know, this could be late game, and, and, and if you're playing as hungry... You could find someone, to hang, and he could have a bunch of archers. You could levy him for, like, a couple hundred gold. Upgrade him to, you know, musket men or, well, archers wouldn't upgrade to musket men. But upgrade them uh, to machine guns or whatever. And, you know, do that for free. And then they're getting plus five combat strength. Like, that's cool. That's awesome. I love them. Uh, Hazar, uh, unique industrial area unit. Replaces cavalry plus three combat strength for every active alliance. So he wants to be allies then. Probably and then thermal bath. It's unique to hungry he gets plus two amenities plus two production um, Okay, and he gets plus three uh, tourism sweet 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 sweet. So let's look at his agenda Levies troops from city-states like civilizations that also use city-state troops dislikes those that shun mercenaries All right. Well, we'll try No promises hungry. No promises. What is this storm Peters out? Yeah, so zero population lost, zero killed. Okay, we're gonna have to go through a lot of this slow. Oh, uh, other thing I should note, since we mentioned machine guns. Guess what, guys? It happened. It happened. Range of two! Yes! <laughs> Thank you for Hex's spy. 
By the way, there's a joke that like Fraxis was spying on my live streams because I kept asking for things, and every time I'd ask for something, it would like appear. Like in this update, like with Gathering Storm, it's it's great. Okay, so I need to bring you over here because there's gonna be barbarians over here. Cool, 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 cool. We're also gonna use the slinger to go kill. I'm gonna go hit you right away. Mostly because I just want to keep you away. I'm Sultan Musa, Sayyid Mali. And Mali. Okay. Okay. It's an honor to meet you. What's up? What's up? I don't like this map immediately. <laughs> Maybe they'll fight each other. Okay, well, let's talk about Mali. We're not going to get through many turns, apparently. Uh, see Sanders gain plus one faith, plus one uh, food for every adjacent desert and desert hill tile. Mines receive negative one production and plus four gold may purchase commercial hub building districts with faith. Negative three percent production towards construction buildings or training units. So essentially, Mali doesn't uh, they get less production, but they get ridiculous amount of gold. Their whole play style is to buy as much uh, crap up as possible. Like buy units, don't build them out kind of thing. Yeah, international trade routes get plus one gold for every flat desert tile in the original city. Nice. Uh, as cavalry is, cavalry is uh, replaced the knight. Okay. Traders are immune to being plundered. They give gold equal 100% of the base cost. That's nice. That's nice. And then he gets to the Mali. It specializes in finance and trade. Replaces the commercial hub. Units building districts are 20% cheaper, plus two gold for each adjacent. Holy side, uh, and then river, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Take you up on the hill. Was that Mali? Is Mali red? In that case, we might have to worry about we might not have to worry about the barbarian. God, we're almost at three minutes. Well, this is gonna be a little bit of an epic epic episode, so. Okay. Let's go here, let's go there. I'm actually going to take you maybe this way again. I'm going to say forget the Barbarian. I think we're going to be okay. We'll send the Slinger this way too. As long as we can just like kill off the Scout, we're fine. Where'd you go? You're there. This is very pretty, dude. So this is uh, the Niger River. Niger, right? And then the Gambia River. We found his capital. And then the Aras River. So yeah, we're immediately trapped in basically. <laughs> uh, great. Great, so we kind of need that second uh, settler out as quick as possible, please. Nice. What are you both working with your uh, two production now? Your two and two. Yeah, the two, two, and the we yeah, out. I'm good with that. Okay. So, yeah, this might be a... F I, we... I don't know. Maybe we should have played on large. Maybe we should have played on large. That barbarian just passed through. No, never mind. That's a different one. Great, there's two. I definitely want to settle there. Although, uh, you'll notice that these have a chance uh, to flood. So, ideal position is actually going to be probably on uh, the amber. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's get that city going as quick as possible here. Um, I'm just going to go squish you while we're here. We're not really getting much exploring done right now. It's fine. I can't really afford to talk about anyone else. My throat's going to die before then. Give me 40 gold. Yeah, it's not what I was hoping for. Oh my gosh, it's going to take so much work to remember how to play the game without CQUI. <laughs> uh, so please die. I could kill him with our slinger if I baited him right. Go around this way. Yeah, just go around that way. Trying to keep him within range. We'll do something like that. And, like, I'm trying to get a kill here with our slinger so we can boost archery. That's kind of what's happening here. Dude, I like the colors, man. I like the dark grass line. That's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. Uh, Code of Laws got finished. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. So, um, I will do Discover a Second Continent. And we'll get the Settler booster pretty quickly. And give me uh, Faith. I wonder if there's any new Pantheons. I actually don't know. Oh, we're so close. Okay, we're getting close to baiting him out. Well, we found the barbarian encampment. Unfortunately, we also found a slinger. That slinger might get me killed. Eh, close, close. We got to keep you from getting back home. We're spending our entire time right now just like chasing after these guys. Okay, you're probably okay here. Yeah, you're gonna be good there. And we will probably be able to kill you by attacking across the river. Okay. That seems like the plan. What's up? 
I know, you probably want me to have a lot of money. We didn't actually look at your agenda. Yo, what's your agenda? Tries to maximize gold output. Sounds like a plan. That could be a really bad roll, guys. Okay, whew. That scared me a little bit, because there was a good chance that we just got killed on that one. So, I might send the slinger over there for the kill. And let's just bring you back over here. Oh, hello. We found you. When did you spawn there, man? When did you freaking spawn there? Okay, give me a uh, production through rainforest. And... I'm still just gonna keep chasing this guy for a little bit. Okay. We could probably go here. He's not gonna attack me. They never attack out. You don't usually want to defend in the grass line because it's just like, um, uh, they, you take extra damage because it's like terrible terrain. Okay, we need you over here as quick as possible, please. You're gonna come over here too and make sure that, uh, barbarians stay away. And you're still chasing. I'm gonna pop on another slinger. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pop on another warrior. Uh, can we buy a warrior? Now, let's get a slinger and we'll buy a warrior. We want our power to be as high as possible because we don't want the AI to declare war on us. He's at 130, he's at 134, and we're rolling around at 34. Because, you know, we're playing on deity and they cheat. So, major defeat. Let's go up here. Maybe heal up a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, hello, Mr. Barbarian. So, we are uh, in plains, but we're not in ideal... Um, we're not in hills. I'm going to go here. And then if he comes up there, then we'll attack him. Because this is a plus six defense right there. So we'd actually be at 21 defense. Yep. You keep going over here. You keep cutting through. This is going to be fine. And I'm going to fortify up and let's get you healed. Although you probably got a level here pretty quick. Probably after two more attacks. So this should be a uh, like 18 versus yeah 30 and we lost 26. So, because we're on a hill, and because we're in a forest on a hill, we're getting plus six. So, let's go ahead and shoot you, and we'll be able to get the kill next turn, which again gives us the boost towards archery, which I forgot to freaking switch off. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Sorry. It's late. Forgive my bad plays. So, loyalty is already going to be an issue over here. I'm okay with that. Because it's going to still forward settle him, number one. Um, but number two, uh, loyalty is not going to be an issue because we'll have governors here before too long. Also, all we need is just a monument there and we're fine. All right, there's a boost in archery. We need a min-max just a little bit. Um, I'm not going to switch off us to get the second continent because I just don't see that happening. We could. What does this mean? There's a nearby volcano. Oh, Hello. This one didn't have that, right? Cancel. No, it's just that. Okay, that's a brand new symbol there. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go. Nothing scary about volcanoes, man. <laughs> uh, we got the upgrade and... Hold up. Uh, volley, please. Always volley. And then you might as well go ahead and attack. And we'll just heal you back up next turn. We should slow things down, because there might be new animations, but... We're gonna go here. He's gonna go there. Can he kill us? I don't think so. No, I think we're gonna be okay. We'll bring you over here. Because he can't shoot my... He can't shoot my settler. Kukupe! What's up, dude? He's got big boobs. Anyways, let's go. Uh, hi. I want to send you a delegation on my turn. And he's gonna like me not to chop stuff, right? Retains natural features in his empire and builds natural parks like Sibs who respect the environment. Well, he's not gonna like us. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, that's probably really bad that we're meeting him. Because Coupe doesn't start on, uh... Uh, he starts in the ocean, so he begins the game in the ocean tile, gains a free builder, and plus one population, settling your first city. Uh, palace gives plus three housing, plus one amenities, 
blah, 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 blah. They begin the game with sailing and shipbuilding already unlocked and the ability inner ocean tiles. Embarked units gain plus two movement. Unimproved woods and rainforest get plus one production. They also get plus two once conservation. Fishing boats get plus one food as well. The Toa is a ancient classical era. Cool, 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 cool. And then what is, they got two different buildings. Occupying units get plus four defensive strength. Oh, okay, so it's like a, a fort. And then this is plus two culture and faith to the city and plus two tourism. Nice. So hopefully he's not going to take any of my territory. That's my only concern is that he's decided he's going to go land on my territory. Okay, so if we go here, he might move there and then we'll be able to shoot him. And we should do more damage to him than him to us because we got the upgrade. Although then again, we are in uh, grasslands where he's in the forest, but whatever. All right, here's our second city. Is going to have some loyalty issues here, probably. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, we need to pop out warriors. Also, we need to start figuring out who we're actually going to go declare war on here before too long. And speaking of which, let's go grab the warrior. I suppose we're just going to go crap on Molly. Because he's right here. Yeah, probably. Let's heal up one more turn. And then I think we're good to attack again. Someone got the great bath already. And a river flooded. Cool. So there was five fertilized tiles and one unit was destroyed. It was actually the barbarian unit. That is actually hilarious. I didn't know that was a thing. And that's free 30 gold for us. What's up? Uh, except we might uh, die there. Well, that's that's new. I didn't realize that was a thing. So sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, you need to come forward. He is going to go settle on our borders. So this is definitely going to go down here before too long. Um, we should go to military tradition then. In fact, the fact that we're going warlike means we should have done that anyways, but oh well. Surprise, he's not... He didn't get mad at me for settling right next to him. That was not Molly. We're going to click on all the wrong guys. Settled near them, negative three. But he didn't warn me. He didn't talk about it. Ask for promise. Oh, that's new. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, I feel like... Let's trade our Amber with him. <laughs> because... Oh, no. I am not used to this. Oh, this is so terrible. I need my CQUI. 140. It's so much harder to do this now without CQUI. Okay. Uh, 135, sure. So, we're trading to him because the goal is we'll get it back as soon as we, as soon as we declare war. Anyways. So then with our extra money, I think let's go buy some units. We could buy a trade route. Yeah, we need the trade route, actually. And then we could buy a build our warrior here in a couple turns. So the trade route, we're just going to send to our city internally. Well, that got scary. All right, well, let's just do that. Let's just get rid of that encampment. I might just go for the settler here. Yeah. Because we got double archer right here. We might just be able to do this. Uh, what's his military strength at? We are at 56. He is at 131. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little worried about that, but that's okay. So we can run away. We'll let uh, Hungry deal with this now. And then let's get you over here to the front line, quote unquote. Hmm. Where would he be going? He might be going right there. What do I think of this? I don't like it. I don't like it. So we're going to solve all our problems with aggression. Let's go for iron because we can get early swordsmen. That'll be great. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. My troops are passing by. You literally just throw a city down on top of me. Hmm. So if I was like, yo, don't settle near me, can I do that? No, you have to use diplomatic favor. That's why they're not mad early game because of that. Interesting. All right. So we have a nice little river here. Our archers are going to be able to absolutely destroy his warriors. So we are going to get ready for this war. We're going to start moving everyone out. Um, 
I would like to have actually put the city down myself, but that's okay. You're rebelling in 26 turns. The question is, how long till we get the early favor? Maybe not soon enough, but with the extra warrior, we should be okay. 140, it's 160, isn't it? And I don't have anything else to trade right now, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. This was a fun first one. I don't know how well this game's going to go. I mean, playing on a smaller map with a bunch of extra civs is usually a really bad idea, especially on Deity, because they're just going to surround us and have fun with us and, you know, take all our territory. That being said, you know, we are the one civ that can probably deal with this um, better than anyone. I wish maybe we would have built warriors a little earlier. I don't know. I shouldn't have gone with the scout. I should have said screw the scout, but whatever. Whatever. It is what it is at this point. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Since this is a brand new series, any support you could show it is awesome. Like, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what your games are looking like in Gathering Storm if you're playing it, or even like Civ 6. I don't, I love hearing your guys' stories. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.